Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. In today's video, we're gonna talk about landing elbows effectively in mixed martial arts. In a Muay Thai fight, you see a lot of elbows in the clinch, but in MMA, we don't see them as often. So this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can land them more effectively in mixed martial arts. Bazooka Joe Baltalini. One of the benefits of throwing elbows in MMA is the small glove, and you have your fingers open. So a lot of this video is going to explain how to use that long guard, use different frames to manipulate your opponent's guard. If I can get my opponent to shell up, that's my opportunity to come in, use my fingers to kind of change my opponent's grip and land those elbows more effectively. If they're protecting their head, a slight little pull, a nice little guard manipulation will help me smack those elbows and get those cuts and finishes with my elbows. Let's talk about landing our elbows in mixed martial arts. And the best thing about mixed martial arts is the four ounce glove and the fingers open. And that's gonna actually help us land our elbows more effectively. And which is weird because in Muay Thai, every time we see a nice, you know, traditional clinch position, we always see fighters looking to get control and to smack the elbows. But in MMA, we don't see it a lot because of body locks and takedowns. But there are those split opportunities, and we see a lot of good UFC fighters use them to get good damage before they use the wrestling. So the way I like to teach my MMA fighters is putting the elbows into different range. Yes, it's important to get to this range, but how do I get there safely? How do I get into the position to throw the elbows? And this is what this video is about. So first of all, we understand that there's long range, mid range and close range. To be able to land elbows effectively, I have to get into that mid range and to close that distance. So I need to learn how to use a long guard and to be able to control my opponent's punches, hands and wrists. So the first part of landing elbows in mixed martial arts is the setup strike. So you see me attacking in different ways. From the last video that I posted on the channel, I talk about safe enters. So you can use any of the enters that I talked about in the previous video, whether they're feints, whether I use my body kicks, right? I'm getting different enters to get in safely. So, in particular, the one I'm gonna talk about for this one is using the long guard. So whatever the feint is, boom, I get the reaction. Now, when I get this long guard in frame, I need to make sure my hands are on top of my opponent. If Matt has his hands on top of mine, right now we're in a 50-50 position because I'm on top of one, he's on top of the other. So ideally, I wanna move my opponent's hands so I can smack on top, but he's trying to do the same thing, bang. So when I enter, I need to make sure I get my hands on top and I fight for this position. So you're gonna see a lot of this position, right? Ideally in Muay Thai, to defend the elbow, I wanna get the inside grip, which I call my mantis grip, okay? The bicep grip. So when I throw my enter, boom, I might be here. I might smack an elbow, but ideally I go into inside grip because now if Matt tries to elbow me, I have control, right? And now I can kind of maneuver him and mix in my knees, eventually pull his hand down and attack. So using the fingers to manipulate the guard is really important. So if Matt gets a nice shell, whether I punch and I get a shell, kick, faint. Now, once I grab his arm, this is where the effectiveness of the elbow comes from in mixed martial arts, because I use my hands now to pull, okay? So what I'll do is, if I'm on a frame, I can pull the hand from his guard, smack, whatever hand it is. Lead hand on top, here, on top of the elbows, right? But that's just the round elbow. I can also frame with one hand and come up the middle. Come up the middle, now hook, pull this hand, and attack. So you see how I use my fingers, my hands, and my forearms to create the elbow setups. Right, so that's from the grab. Pull, attack, attack. So I'm using my opponent's hands to pull and to create the openings. But now I can use this with punches, what I like to do. So if I throw a jab, right, to get that lead side up, I might jab just outside of the head. As I pull my hand back, I pull the head and I smack the elbow, right? So different setup, boom. All right, so that's what I call guard manipulation. Same thing with my rear hand. I throw it once, and then I throw it past the head, I pull this hand in, and I step in and attack the elbow. 
right? Whether they're round elbows or I hook to get up elbows, bang, right? I'm just changing my opponent's grip, grip manipulation, right? So quick review, I'm using feints, safe enters to get my opponent to get a reaction. As soon as I get the reaction, whether it's kick, punch, feint, I'm gonna use guard manipulation to find the elbows. Ideally first, I wanna get this position, right? If I control both hands, I don't get hit. From here, I smack, guard manipulation, create the exit. If I wanna to continue to chain with my clinching and my wrestling, right? Long enter, safe, hands on top, attack, boom. I come into my clinch and I can work my different wrestling grips and clinches from there. All right, there you have it. Different ways to successfully land your elbows in mixed martial arts. It's a little different than Muay Thai because of the small gloves. With these small gloves and the fingers being open, lets you use those long guards, manipulate the guard and help you smash those elbows down the middle. The elbows almost like a knife. You've gotta find those openings to split your opponent up. They might not get you that knockout, but it shows good damage on the scorecards get a lot of blood and a lot of doctor stoppages. So very effective to use in mixed martial arts and can be used a little bit more like we do see in Muay Thai, especially in those transitions from Muay Thai clinching into my wrestling, okay? So make sure you keep liking, subscribing, and following Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. That bell notification will make sure you keep up to date. We'll see you soon.